Medell in the dark shorts is one of the best phantom weights in the world. He's already fought once for the world title and even now at 27 he's rated the number two challenger for the world title. There's no question that McGowan, the young Scot, has really got a task on hand here against a man who is in one weight division above his. McGowan, a natural flyweight, trying to force his way into the world bantamweight rankings. Medell, brown skin, pencil slim moustache, full of experience. He's been a professional since 1955 and he's had 85 fights. Compare that with McGowan's 20. Too many seconds left in this first round, but McGowan's got to get away. The bell to end the first. Well, I'm not sure whether McGowan has ever been on the floor before, but he was certainly put down there. One right hand first and then another, and that did the trick. Round two. Well, now McGowan has felt the force of Medell's counter-punching. And now it's quite obvious that he cannot afford to come in carelessly. This has got to be a strategic fight for him. He's got to pick his punches carefully now, and the last thing he must do is to go into Medell and try and open it up. nearly disastrous first run, McGowan has come right back in his second run and seems to be stealing it. setback for the Mexican champion. They haven't managed to stop the bleeding. That cut on the left eye is still weeping blood. <laughs> Medell, 27 years old, has twice fought Edith Joffrey, the former bantamweight champion of the world. And in fact, he has fought and beaten the present world bantamweight champion, fighting Harada of Japan. This will give you some idea of the class of the man. Well, now we're in the sixth round, and there's no doubt that McGowan has boxed his way right back into this fight with a good chance of winning it. He's overcome the first round knockdown and with intelligent, good boxing, he has picked up enough points, by my card anyway, to move out in front of Medell now. But Medell is still dangerous. This wily Mexican, this panther of a man who waits and then pounces, is still very menacing. If McGowan makes one slip, it could be near. 
McGowan getting more and more confident, but he doesn't want to get too cheeky with this character. was a great fight, so he looked as though he could go on. Is that so? Oh yes, I felt quite great in the I wish that he was a wee bit of crafting, but enough to quit from the not days and to... It's going to make him think it was best and to get him charged in his hands, but he just was in the worst time for the fight. In fact, you weren't uh, badly hurt by those two punches at all. I was more hurt in days in the first round than I was in the last not really long. And the reason you got up was just to try to fool Miguel, was it? Miguel kept me one corner, and uh, he kept me coming, thinking that I would come in with my hands down. Uh, he would try and catch me, and just when I got a chance to use a wee bit of craft, get an uppercut from the up, was to make him think that I was dead. The referee starts to think he doesn't do anything. Because he's a pretty good fighter, I mean, you, yeah. you admit this, he's a, he's a, a classy yeah. fighter. Yes, with the best kind of punch of net. You did a great job coming back after the first round, because uh, quite honestly it looked then as though you might not get through that round. How badly hurt were you? Well, it wasn't really badly hurt, it was just a wee bit cold and a wee bit dazed when it did catch me. Mm -hmm. I was really okay after the uh, interval. Have you ever been on the floor before? Yeah, well, it's the first time. Mm -hmm. And I hope the last touch would. Yeah, let's, let's have a quick word with your father now, because I know you're pretty uh, <coughs> upset about the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I'm very know? upset. The, the, the referee who lost the place will think the slightest that he was more difficult to than either of the two fighters. And his will could say quite clearly, when you come to me, his reflections are good, very good. And he deliberately distinctly said that he, he was trying to fault the other guy just to see his faults. Mm -hmm. Of the two fighters, uh, you can state your life that Nadal was in the worst condition of the two fighters. Are you going to let your son go on fighting, Banker White, Joe? But he can get his flyweights, we'll only be delighted to take them. Where can we get them? You'd rather he fought flyweights than uh, the Banter Whites. You feel that he is a natural flyweight? He's a natural flyweight, but we just kind of get through a bit of sit back and start. 